Hello, 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 and welcome to meet number who knows what. Um, nothing interesting happened for Warhammer this week, so I'm going to talk about my own stuff. Uh, and I'd like to start off with a quick announcement. I know most people don't watch the meets, but for anyone who is, uh, I'm a bit busy right now in real life, so chances are there won't be any videos other than meets for the next two, three weeks. But after that, I'm free for a while, so expect a rise in videos in the distant future. But anyway, let's get into the topic of today. I want to talk to you guys about Slapchop. Uh, I've had very little experience with Slapchop, but I recently well, I experienced it for the first time on my Crute model. Uh, essentially what I did was, rather than the sort of prime black Zenithal and then do the white dry brush, I did a red prime with a white Zenithal uh, and I did green contrast paint over it. Now the aim was to give it a sort of a warm, a warm green look for my crew guy, uh, and I think it went quite well. And I'm not going to lie, usually when I'm painting models, uh, I start off with my darkest tone and I build up like seven something ridiculous highlights, because that's how I like to paint. But Snapjob has been pretty eye-opening for me actually. I got this guy's skin done in one coat. And, and then that was it. I didn't even touch it after that. It was good. Now, admittedly, he didn't have much skin showing the model I did it on. And if I'd picked a model with more skin, maybe I would have needed to do more. But who knows? Essentially, what I'm trying to say is, uh, Slapchop's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. However, I did do all his other details my usual way. And I'm, I'm torn on what looks better. I think the normal way I paint looks better. However, Slapchop is much, much faster, and it doesn't look too much worse. Will this mean you guys see more Snapchop on the channel? Unlikely. I'll stick to my old ways. But it was an interesting and eye-opening experience. I can now understand how different painters paint, and yeah, pretty cool. Nothing else to say, don't expect a video this week. Have fun, love you all, subscribe, bye.